2012 is shaping up to be a pretty interesting year for TVs for a variety of reasons. One is that we're going to see some new technologies that really were in the concept stage become realities later this year. Probably most notable is OLED TVs, which really combine some of the best qualities of plasma and LCD TV technologies without their drawbacks. The problem is we expect them to be very expensive, maybe three to four times the cost of a standard TV. The other technology that we're hearing a lot about is 4K technology, and these are TVs with four times the resolution of standard TVs. The problem with the 4K technology right now is that there's not a lot of 4K content, so we think that's a product that we talk a lot about this year but don't actually buy. One of the other things that we're seeing, an explosion of smart TVs, and those are TVs that provide access to the internet. Now we've seen them for a couple of years, but they're gaining new features and new services this year. For example, most of them now, or a lot of them at least, have full web browsers that let you go anywhere on the web. And we're starting to see more that have access to apps markets. We're also keeping an eye on Google TV, which didn't fare so well last year, but we're seeing some indications that it may become more popular this year with some manufacturers. We're seeing who comes aboard later in the year. You know, with the explosion of content, we're also seeing a lot of new ways for you to access that content and manage it. So we're seeing TVs that have easier to use uh, dashboards. We're seeing interfaces that are, make it a lot easier to navigate through it. And probably the thing that's been most interesting are the different ways that you can actually physically interact with your TV. We're seeing the ability now for you to use gestures, voice control, and even face recognition. So some TVs are having this built right into the TV itself, while other manufacturers are building this technology into the remote controls. We're seeing the ability to move content between devices pretty easily. So if you have a tablet or a cell phone and you want to put that content on your television, you're now able to do that. So manufacturers are really looking for common interfaces and a single ID so that as you move between these devices, you already know how to use them. While it's great to see a lot of the technologies here on display, one of the things that we really look forward to is bringing a lot of these products into our labs where we can give them full testing. I'm Jim Wilcox for Consumer Reports.